What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're out here on this sort of windy day to give you a brand new gun. Today, we are gonna be talking about the Ruger LC Carbine. Now, this guy has been propped up and promoted on YouTube a whole bunch already, so I figured I might as well go get one. And there just happened to be one at my local Shield, so I picked one up for review. This is a pretty interesting design that a lot of people really like, and a couple people don't really like that I have some mixed feelings about, but we're gonna shoot it today and find out exactly how it performs, talk about the details and stuff like that. Uh, before we do that though, I do wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thanks guys very much for supporting the channel. I bought this with a patron dollar, so if you wanna support the channel, it's the best way to do that. I'd also appreciate if you like and subscribe and share the content, throw a comment down below as well. All that helps out the channel. It helps us give you the unbiased content you guys love. Also a link in the description below uh, for a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS, you could really use your help. So please go down and donate to those kids and finally i'd like to thank the sponsor of this video tack pack if you ever wanted to see the new hotness or some of the cool new products out this is your chance tack pack is a tactical subscription box that delivers gear directly to your door each month and it's actually pretty cool shit it's kind of like having your own personal santa they offer two boxes their standard box which is 111 dollars worth of gear and their plus box which is 250 dollars worth of gear the value of each box far exceeds what you spend i personally really like a lot of the stuff that comes with it including walker earmuffs Magpul stuff, magazines, some Luth AR stocks, and much more. Sign up to own your own TAC Pack subscription using the code Honest Outlaw in the link below. Now, the Ruger LC Carbine is the hottest uh, car little carbine on the market currently. It takes the 5.7 cartridge, which the Ruger 5.7 also takes. Uh, this is a 16 inch carbine with a side charging handle, ambi controls on it, some decent texture. It takes Ruger 5.7 magazines, and it has the ability to fold the stock, which is pretty cool. It comes with these not mag pull sights that have the Ruger symbol on it, and we threw a hollow sun on it for an optic here to review today. We have a 16 inch uh, threaded barrel on the front there with a thread protector that you put a suppressor on or anything else that you want. We have it just blank right now, and then it's kind of a cool LWRC ish. Uh, barrel on there. It kind of looks like a drill bit. Got an M-Lock rail on it. Comes in for around six to eight hundred dollars depending on where you get it. And overall it's pretty interesting. If you're interested in the PCC, PCC is the general advantage of that is they fire cheap ammunition that you can shoot steel up close. Usually they're pretty good indoors, not over penetrate too much, that kind of thing. Relatively low recoil, which this one also will have. The good thing about the 5.7, very very low recoil. So let's go shoot it. Wow, this is the least ergonomic rifle I've ever felt. You hit! Oh! Well, dang! I just... You were hitting a lot. I just cleared the Texas Star from 75 yards with it on the first shot, so... So maybe it ain't all bad, eh? No, it's not too bad. Okay. You know what's kind of funny? What? Is that A, the 5.7 doesn't even have enough power to knock over my poppers from 100 yards. But I keep it hitting is them and it just stays there. Barely but any recoil, it seems. It's true. Well, it's an issue with kinetic energy too. You know, it's not exactly what it's going to happen on a on a on a liquid target. Okay. You, you know what I mean? But because nine millimeters, 115 grain, it's much heavier than the 40 grain or the 27 grain in, in this case. So because of the weight, it delivers more kinetic energy. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's a fun rifle to shoot. But honestly, the 5.7 has never blown me away as far as its price to effective capability, like ratio, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you can get yep. 20 rounds in a mag, but you get 30 rounds in an AR mag, you know, or 50. Yeah. And then on top of that, this gun only came with one 10 round magazine. And then uh, I put my Ruger 5.7 mags through it as well. Oh, okay. All right, so ergonomically, a couple things I don't like right off the bat. This magazine release is an absolute disaster. This is the second time I've inadvertently dropped the magazine. You can see here it's just this giant switch on the other side here. That's so easy. That's where you put your hand, man. 
So you've got your controls that you're supposed to be using all the time up here, your safety, which is almost impossible to get a hold of unless you break your grip. Your bolt release is really easy to get to, but that's something you don't really need a lot. Safety, I figure, is the most important issue. And then you've got your mag release here that just is so intuitive to accidentally swipe off and drop your magazine out. I really don't like this. I wouldn't use this gun for self-defense because of this alone, to be honest with you. And I know that's personal preference, but it is what it is. I just... It sort of really does feel like somebody put a 5.7 in a Ronin chassis. That's how that's how this gun feels to me. Now that being said, it's super accurate and it is pretty fun to shoot. Oh, safety off again. Oh, and then we had a malfunction. Are you fucking Just kidding? as you were singing praises. No shit. I really gotta stop doing that. It seems to happen every single time. Now this is FN ammo, so it's pretty much the highest quality ammo I can get. Now one of the things I like about the gun is I like that it's really low recoil, but what I don't like is that with that crazy long trigger reset, the low recoil doesn't really help my performance at all because I still have to take the time to take the trigger all the way out and back in, so I'm not getting really anything for the low recoil other than just feeling kind of good about myself, I guess. It doesn't speed up my cadence at all. Hmm. But still highly effective regardless. <laughs> okay. Now that we're not hiding behind the garage, you can hear how it really sounds in Iowa. The, the pretty much constant 30 mile hour wind we have out here. That being said, we're gonna take our little PC carbine and we'll shoot our last 30 rounds here up close and I'll spend about $45 seeing how fast it can go. Oh, no I won't. Ooh. Fuck this. So these are my first impressions, and I honestly believe they'll be my final impressions. I don't believe I'm interested in spending $10,000 to do a thousand round review of this. As we sit here, uh, these boxes of ammunition for 5.7 are $50 to $60 a piece, which puts it around the same price as 5.56 or even 308. And the performance you get from it that's kind of similar to a 9mm, I mean, let's be honest, I don't think I'm using anything 27 grain for home defense, me personally. Um, Aside from the fact that it has the 5.7 caliber, which I do give credit to a lot of the P90 and the the P50, the Caltech P50 and stuff, but the P50 it looks like the uh, blaster off of uh, Star Wars, and that looks very cool. And the P90 itself also looks very cool, so it's kind of given a little bit more leeway than something like this, which sort of looks like a Ronin chassis that you put a 5.7 in. Uh, I don't believe this gun looks very good. Um, it kind of looks thrown together. It looks like they had a bunch of parts on the parked floor and they just like, oh, fuck it, we'll make a carbine out of this. It's got a side charging handle. We had one malfunction. Um, most of the issues I have with this gun, aside from the caliber, are gonna come from the weight ratio to power and also the ergonomics, which I hate. I, I Maybe you like it, that's great. Uh, I do not like this. I do not like this safety. This safety seems like a joke to me. A blowback 5.7 seems like kind of a joke because it's like the best, like the best thing about 5.7 is that you get low recoil and then you put a blowback operation system which has the most recoil of any operation system. So it just seems kind of silly to me. And then you come over here and again we have this magazine release which I don't like and then we have this trigger which is pretty freaking awful. And the reason why I think they're all awful is not because it's a really low quality gun but because you can get better guns that do more shit for less money. And if this compared to uh, Smith & Wesson Sport 2, there's no comparison. The, the, the Sport 2 has more accessories, more capability, more power, more, more reliability, less recoil, and overall just a significantly better platform, in my personal opinion, than this thing. I just don't see what niche this fills. I mean, the PC carbine exists. But why get this when you could get the Ruger PC carbine that has 9mm, right? That has the magazine capability of your Glock or your Ruger or your M&P, for example. I mean, they have magwells you can switch out. Uh, it takes the 9mm cartridge, which is so much cheaper than the 5.7. Hits about the same. You have a huge plethora of ammo that you can get. You can get 9mm ammo at any store. Good luck finding 5.7. One out of like six places has this. 
The magazines are going to be harder to find as well. The ergonomics on this are shittier than the PC carbine. If you want to stick with a Ruger carbine, stick with the PC carbine. Don't, don't get this, in my personal opinion. I just, it looks cool and it's the new hotness and that's great and that's why everybody's reviewing it. But I got to tell you, like, I don't see what they see. I, what I see is a gun that has rifle cons with no rifle pros. That's what I see. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. I just made up a song for you. You wanna hear it? Sure. Oh, Outlaw, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Outlaw. Hey, Outlaw. You like it? It's great. <laughs> Very original. <laughs>